All right, well, I am here with Carlin Ellis. Thank you so much for serving or, or offering to serve on our board of directors, another candidate for the Austin Board of Realtors and Unlock MLS Board of Directors election. Carlin, we're gonna start with something super easy. Tell us a little bit about why you're running. What's your elevator pitch? All right, my elevator pitch. So <laughs> I am a broker and one of the owners of Realty One Group Prosper. We've got two offices in the Austin area, one in Hayes County. Um, I serve over about 138, 40 agents, somewhere around there. Um, and I've been in real estate for over 20 years. I've been, um, I had a team in high production. I've been a solo agent and now I run the brokerage. Still doing a little bit of production, very little. Um, but I, I would love to serve. I've served in the past on the board. I sat on the board for three years and took this last year off and I'm really anxious to get back in and get to work. Awesome, well thank you for offering to serve again and to do that and thank you for your service before as well. These are hard jobs <laughs> and we yes. appreciate all of our volunteers. Um, how will you work to reinforce the value of Unlock MLS and a board across the marketplace as a board member? So first of all, I'm so excited it's Unlock MLS. I have to say congrats to <laughs> we that. We are too. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so, you know, I am really passionate about our MLS. I currently serve as vice chair of the MLS Compliance Committee for the Austin Board of Realtors. I started on the tax force for that because I believe the integrity of our MLS is so important. Um, that is data that we have the privilege of holding private and sacred and it's only as good as the information we put in there. So I believe it's really important when I'm sitting at that board, at that table, um, that I'm keeping the bigger picture in mind, which is protecting the information, keeping it accurate um, and delivering what we promise to the public, which is making sure the integrity of that data is there. Yeah, that's absolutely clearly one of our core values, an important aspect of running an MLS system for sure. Um, well, you were there kind of at the beginning of this strategic plan, but now we're rounding out our five years under this current plan. What would you say we ought to be looking at moving forward or continuing in the next chapter of a Warren Unlock MLS? So the biggest pillar to me of the strategic plan that I think is really important, it was one of the reasons I ran for the board to begin with, um, one of the reasons I'm a broker of agents, is, is the one in which I think we need to protect moving forward is the elevate of our industry. Elevation of our industry is key to our future success as, as an industry. Um, we're facing a lot of challenges, not only in the market and the interest rate, but we're facing some not fun lawsuits that are gonna affect us one way or another. Nobody has a crystal ball, nobody really knows what, how it's gonna play out, but there will be changes. We're gonna learn, we're gonna improve, but we have to do that by elevating our industry and protecting um, what the, what the world thinks of us as agents, you know, that we serve a community and they have to understand what it is we do. And I think one of the struggles is we're not very good at articulating the value proposition we bring to our clients. And so I'm constantly trying to educate my agents and help them understand that and give them the tools they need, which I think our board really plays a big role in doing that. How do we give our agents the tools they need to let the world know how important we are and how that's how we're gonna protect our, our future. Yeah, 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 amen to that. And certainly lots of change in this industry as always. What will you bring individually as a board member to help move the association forward? So I believe I bring a perspective that's really needed at the board table. Like I said, I've been in production, I've been a solo agent, I had a team and now I run a brokerage. I think a lot of our board has been heavily swayed to more experienced and luxury agents and I'm gonna bring a perspective in mind of the newer agents the agents that are struggling they're one two years in the business that's a lot of what's at my brokerage which I'm passionate about I love helping new agents come in and be successful and so I'm gonna bring their perspective to that board table and make sure that they're represented and their voices are heard I'm also bringing the broker owner perspective which is how do we get the education to the to the agents right I have that experience I know what it takes I also am gonna bring the perspective of as I mentioned before, I have a second office in Hayes County. And I think it's really important that those agents who have to deal with multiple S MLSs, their voices are heard at that boardroom as well. Yeah, that's a great point. And finally, what is the thing that keeps you up at night? What's the biggest challenge or change that you think is facing our industry that we need to be aware of and thinking about, especially at the board table? Oh, I don't want to say it, but I'll say it. Uh, the, <laughs> the lawsuits that are going on in our industry, absolutely yeah. as a broker owner, keep me up at night. Um, we're talking about a lot of my brokerage. I'm preparing my agents. You know, I like I said, we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know how things will play out, but changes are always happening. I think it's really important we protect our industry educate our buyers and make sure that they understand the importance of what buyer agency means in this 
um, market and moving forward. And so I think, you know, getting ready and how do we prepare for that is going to be key. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, I guess the only thing that's constant in real estate is change. That's true. <laughs> so, so there's always something to worry about, which is a good thing. And yeah. always things for our board to be focused on. Carlin, Absolutely. thank you again for being willing to serve and for, you know, pursuing this opportunity. Guys, don't forget to vote when the time comes. We're looking forward to, to placing five new folks in leadership and we're looking forward to what they bring to our board table. Thank you. Thank you.